Hello friends. In the last video lectures, we discussed the two major operating system services for process management that were process creation and process termination. Apart from these, operating systems have some more services to be offered to a process in which the next service is called as the abort. Abort is nothing but referred to as the forced termination of a process. Just like we discussed in the previous lecture of process termination that whenever a parent process terminates its child process forcefully it is referred to as the abort. One thing or one point to be noted here is a process can abort itself too. But this term is majorly referred for the involuntary termination. Involuntary means not by process choice. That's why it is called as the forceful or forced termination. This forced termination or this all in, uh, involuntary termination is applied on malfunctioning. processes of systems so they are forcefully terminated so this is another uh, system call or in you know, a service which is uh, used by operating system for the process management after the abort the next service which is offered by operating system is called as fork oblique join so this uh, service is a combination of two system calls first is fork and second is join as we know fork is used for the creation of child process So consider a scenario, a process which is executing and suppose this process is having a very lengthy code and it wants to share its data or you know divide its data into two parts. Say for this it divides itself into three parts. One part is being maintained by itself A, second part is, uh, is uh, shared with B and third part is assigned to C. So in such case B will execute its task or com uh, complete its task, C will com complete its task and A will continue its own code. For this it, it calls a system call named as fork. But when B completes its work or C completes its work, what will be done? In such cases, B will terminate itself, but before terminating, it generate a call to its parent that it has completed its work and its completed task, it needs to be, you know, uh, rejoined with the parent task, parent's task. For this, a system call is generated 
which is called as join similarly it is the case with the child process say C so fork is used for the creation of child process whereas join is used for the merging of sequences divided by fork so this is another operating system service which is used for process management in the next lecture we will discuss some more operating system services or system calls such as suspend resume delay etc thanks for watching and if you have any query kindly ask in our comment section and subscribe our channel thank you